These are the boys who went missing. 15-year-old Samuel Lean, 16-year-old Tate Rose, and 16-year-old Zachary Heron. Dodge County authorities say they went into an old mine sometime after 3 Sunday afternoon while they were out on an adventure. They were exploring. Uh, we had nothing to do with any type of an app as we had, uh, as was speculated. Um, they were just uh, on their way from one place to another and decided they were going to take a little detour and do some exploring. Um, they went into the mines. They went in a little bit farther. They got lost. The boys lost power to their cell phones and a big lighter they were carrying ran out of fuel. So they decided to just sit in the dark, wait for help, which finally came today. CBS 58's Jacob Kittlestad was there when the boys were found. He joins us live from Dodge County with so much more. Hello, Jacob. Hello, yes, we were the only local news crew who was in this area watching the backyard. We saw one ambulance, but soon we saw three ambulances speed into the area, a big commotion. My photographer and I, we were hopeful that all that activity meant good news, and in fact, it was good news as we caught video of these three teenagers being led out of the woods by authorities. Take a look at that. How you guys doing? Can you tell us what happened? 16 year old Zachary Heron gets led to an ambulance, appearing much dirtier than this photo released by Dodge County authorities during the search, showing him and his friends, 16 year old Tate Rose and 15 year old Samuel Line. They're here too, also disheveled after a long night in the Nita mine. Uh, I can hear breathing in the town again. So I guess I'm doing some of that right now too. The one that I talked to, I said, what is your plan when you go back and talk to your friends about the caves? And his initial reaction was, don't go in there. Authorities say they found the boys a few hundred yards into the mine in pitch black conditions. The group had cell phone flashlights that died and a Bic lighter that ran out. Their families noticed them missing Sunday afternoon. Otto Pavelka is neighbors with Samuel Lines family. The family is supposed to be going, going on vacation, so I'm, you know, watching their chocolate lab. The parents thought the boys were going swimming. You know, they found the bikes at the entranceway towards the mines. I know when I was a kid, my friends that lived up in here, we always traped in there, but it's all private property. The boys had been missing about 21 hours until this moment, after rescuers from more than a dozen agencies heard quiet calls for help from the mine. Some community members say they never lost hope. I too much faith around me, so I'm glad it didn't come to that point. While authorities, although happy, are looking for ways to keep this kind of trespassing that need a mind from happening again. I am sure um, the University of Wisconsin is very interested in keeping people out of these mines. I am sure they'll put additional resources into making sure that this is a little bit more secure. Excuse us. Fortunate we were able to find these these three uh, teenagers when we did. And Dodge County authorities do not believe that they will pursue charges against these teenagers for trespassing. And also as far as injuries, they say that those teenagers only had a few minor scratches, bumps and bruises. Nothing too serious at this point. So again, a very happy end to this story out here in the Iron Ridge area. Reporting live from Iron Ridge, Jake Kittlestead, CBS 58 News. Jacob, thank you. Watch for more coverage of today's dramatic rescue in Dodge County coming up on our CBS 58 newscasts at 9 and 10.